think it is oh my god I'm on I'm on I'm on oh yeah that was a sick topwater eat oh oh ho, ho, what a topwater hit there we go that feels decent there we go welcome back to the channel everybody I hate to do the intro in the car but it is pouring right now it was supposed to stop raining about 30 minutes ago but we still have like another hour of rain uh, before the storm passes us so it we're gonna make it happen we're gonna deal with it there's nothing wrong with fishing in the rain usually i do extremely well when it's raining out and i fish in the rain so i'm not too worried about it i have a rain jacket we're golden but i wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by shop carlos you know what shop carlos is it's an online retail company they sell everything you possibly need for fishing uh storage rods reels lures top water micro fishing pan fish walleye fishing cat fishing whatever type of fishing you're into and saltwater fishing as well uh they'll have everything you need it's like a one-stop shop type of thing so if you guys want to go check it out your ever your first ever purchase on shop carl's if you use my code becca10 at checkout you can save ten dollars off your first order of 25 dollars or more become shop carl's member you save up to 30 percent on all your tackle free shipping first access and early access to new baits before anyone else it's an all-around great deal but with that being said thank you so much to shop carl's carl's main tackle for sponsoring today's video let's get into what we're doing it's raining uh, I've been able to creek or river fish near where I live in the good old Rhode Island because we've had uh, just more rain than we've ever had and this summer was really bad so and then we had the hurricane come and hit us so the rivers have been flooded and way too fast a current for me to even think or consider fishing and I would just kind of took it on a whim went out inside check my river um, see how it's doing and I'm looking at the river right now I haven't walked up to it but it looks like it is perfect like it is not moving too fast not moving too slow so we should be able to get on some fish I don't know if the storms really mess them up or what but we're gonna find out together and we're gonna have a ball with it so let's go see what we can make happen at some of my favorite creek and river spots stick around let's go crank them hello my little guppies I'm throwing this in the intro I already am done fishing, but I wanted to throw this in really quick because I'm really confused and um, yeah. So I fish this place all the time, park in the same spot all the time, and I got this, not one, but two of these violation um, things on my truck. And let me know, drop down in the comments below if this is real or fake. It says, violation, this vehicle is parked illegally and is subject to towing and impoundment. Your license number was corded and it's literally a sticker, like it's, it's a sticker. This says it was made on smartsign.com and then it says warning issue, date, location, blah, 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 all this stuff, tow, booted. Yeah, they left me two on my truck and I've parked there a million times and I've never gotten, you know, anyone say anything to me or anything like that. So drop it down in the comments below. I figured I'd put this in the intro so um, you guys could see it and just let me know. Anyways, enjoy today's episode. It's freaking epic. A lot of top water, small mouth and uh, just a a lot of fish in today's video i don't know how many how many fish i kept in the video but anyway sit back relax enjoy today's episode i love you guys so much enjoy okay well uh i've never done youtube before so i wasn't recording but i hooked into uh, a smallmouth literally the world's smallest smallmouth on the crankbait pretty dope <laughs> Well, now my GoPro is officially recording. Pew! See, I would have been really mad that I wasn't recording if it was a big fish. Uh, but it was just a little guy. Nonetheless, thankful. Skunks out of the boat. Uh, I'm sorry that won't happen again. Love you guys very much. Don't be mad. I'm sorry. Uh, well, anyways, I dropped a layer. I had to take off my sweatshirt because the humidity is real right now. It's only like 70 something, 73, but the humidity is making it feel like a thousand degrees. So we're just rolling with a, a Guggen Squad Tech hoodie right now, besides of that and a hoodie. Crankbait got us our first fish. 
Yeah, that's another one, baby. Ah, there we go. Oh my God, something hit my crankbait top water. Something hit my crankbait top water. That was insane. Oh my God, it, I, of course, of course. Dude. I was trying to let the current take my crankbait so I didn't reel so the crankbait was sitting on top of the water and I was going to let it like float down that bridge right there to see if I could pick something up that way and a freaking bluegill hit it top water. Wow. Nice. I wonder if I should put a top water on honestly. I have a top, I have a couple top waters on me. That's very tempting. I might do it. Bluegill are hitting the top water besides of any other way. Maybe that's what the smallmouth want too, you know? I'm gonna try a jerk bait. I'm gonna try a bunch of different things, but I don't think this crankbait's the move. Which really sucks because this thing is so juicy, but it's also a very pressured area and I bet you everybody comes here and thinks, oh, let me throw a crankbait. So we gotta throw something different. I think that is our issue right now. So. I'm gonna go through the tackle I brought with me, see what we can make happen. There we go. There we go on the trout worm. On the trout worm. Oh my God, are you kidding? That is even smaller than our first smallmouth that we caught. On the freaking neon trout worm, baby. That is such a small smallmouth so dark too the colors on this guy is wild he's almost black wow all right i'll take it see you later buddy i can see this worm like very easily in the water because of you know it's neon so uh i saw him eat it but i i it was he was so small that i couldn't tell what it was and i kind of just set the hook and somehow we landed him he was right in all this fast moving current just like i suspected him to be Maybe we'll get a big one now. I don't know. I don't think I've ever caught anything on the trout worm on my channel before. So this is a first for your, you guys to watch me do. I've done it before, but oh my God. Oh my God, we got one. I watched him smack it. I watched him smack it. <laughs> oh my God, we found the freaking nursery, baby. Woo! What is good? You know, I'm having the time of my life, so I don't really care. That's sweet. That makes me think they might hit the jerkbait and the top water in here. So I'm definitely gonna rig up the jerkbait and top water. I might weave in, a, in and out of these guys because now I know they're here. So now we can uh, have a little bit more confidence with throwing different baits. Catch a couple more. See if we can pick up a big one with this bait and transfer to something else. See if we can pick up something a little bit bigger. Oh my God, that was, that was, that was fish right there. Dude, they're just sitting right at my feet. There we go. Oh, that feels bigger. Pulled a little bit of drag. You're kidding. That is not what I think it is. Yeah, it is. Wow. The biggest fish we've caught today is a bluegill but whatever <laughs> i'm having fun <laughs> really you eat the trout worm god damn buddy you were hungry i picked the most obnoxious color too to throw which is the neon freaking yellow green whatever and they adore it so there we go there we go come on what is it Oh my god, bro. Okay, I'm gonna throw either the jerk bait or the top water right now. I'm gonna switch. I'm thinking top water. Um, we're definitely gonna end up throwing the jerk bait though. But top water time. Pew. All right, here we go. Love fish for life. Uh, also in Chinese, Japanese, so can't really read it. Oh. Keep out of reach of children. Please be aware of safety and surroundings when using this lure. All right. If we get hit on this top water, I will lose it, bro. I will lose it. All right, folks, here she is. Let's give it her a dangle. A dangle. A nice little dangle dang. 
The small mouth should be obsessed with this thing. Nice little top water popper. Oh my god, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Dude, no way. First pass with top water popper. <laughs> no freaking way. First pass. First pass. Oh my goodness. Buddy, you are just one of the dopest fish in the entire world. I appreciate you. The lures that keep uh, out of reach of children. I don't know if you consider this a child, but I would. Sorry, bud. <laughs> See you later. Oh yeah, that was a sick top water eat. That was sick. And of course, it's a micro one. Dude, for a little small mouth, Okay, bye. For a little smallmouth, that topwater hit was freaking epic. Oh. Oh my god, that was a sick eat. And it's not what you think it is. It's a freaking gill. <laughs> On topwater. This is ridiculous. These are some of the most aggressive gills I think I've seen, like, ever. Hitting topwater in a river. Uh, uh oh, sorry bud. Another one. I mean, the gills are fighting pretty hard, so I'll give it to them. All right, we hop the fence. We're gonna fish over here a little bit. And then I'm going back here with the jerk bait because I know there's monsters down there, but I really want to continue throwing this topwater popper in some of the areas I already covered over here. Yo, what's good? Uh, it's going. Got my biggest molly of the day is about that big. Yeah, I caught a bunch of them here this size. What are you using? Um, I've been like drifting like night crawlers the past few days. Yeah. Or like little jigs. Well, that is my buddy Nathan. He was actually a subscriber and he ran into me one time when I was trout fishing like six months ago. And I uh, forgot bobbers. And I was like, yo, do you have a bobber? And he gave me a bobber. And I just messaged him because I know he lives around here. So <laughs> he came and joined me. We're gonna tag team this place to search for some biggins. But I'm still throwing this top water. Oh yeah, nice. Another one on the top water. Is this a largie? Oh, it's just smally. It's kind of rare to catch a largie out of here. So I was gonna say, hey buddy, finally another fish besides near the waterfall. That's always a good sign that they're kind of roaming a little bit. Not a lot of bit, but a little bit. God, these hooks are so micro and sticky. It's like so almost like uncomfortable and weird to unhook fish with how small they are. There we go. One last trouble, come on. There we go. Hmm. Mondo, absolute Mondo. Dude, it's pouring. <laughs> It was supposed to stop raining forever ago. There we go. Dude. Dude. <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. There's probably, what, like a million down there? <laughs> Skew. We're going back to the popper. Oh, what a top water hit. There we go. Crank the top water. Hey, that's my biggest of the day. I'll take that. Calm down. Freaking crush that top water, too. That is so sick, dude. All right. Well, that's our biggest of the day. Not saying much, but still a blast nonetheless. Woo. Bye, buddy. There we go. That feels decent. Oh, it's a largie. I got a largie on the ultralight. Oh, it's a decent largie. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. This is four pound test. Oh God. Let's get up here. Hey. <laughs> that is a good fish. Yeah. 
Wow. I Thanks, bud. Right really? Yeah. Dude, like this is four pound test at ultralight. It felt like a ten pounder. <laughs> These small combos make them feel so them. big. Oh yeah, that's in there. There we go. There we go. Oh, crappie. <laughs> They're so skinny. He literally looks like a piece of paper. They're about the size of that in here. A little bigger, a little smaller. Dude, they're under that tunnel. I'm just flipping in there. Well, not flipping, but skipping. Hi, bud. All right, never mind. We got crappie, largies, smallies, and gills. That's success. Oh, we're in there again. Can we get three fish and three casts? Yes, we can. Wow. Yes, we can. Is that another crappie? Oh my God, dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, we're three for three. See a bigger one. Yeah, he's, he's definitely bigger than our other crappie. I'll take that, I'll take that. All right, three for three. Let's make it four for four if we can actually get a good cast. There we go, we're in there. Oh no, that would have been four for four. <laughs> There we go. Picked him up right off the ground. I saw him. That is definitely the smallest one out of the three. Probably are such a weird looking fish. I'm gonna try tossing my jig in there. As much as as much fun as that worm is, I wanna use my bait caster. Shoo! Bye bud. today thank you so much to nathan for meeting up with me and tag team in that place with me we definitely caught some fish and i had a freaking blast uh no giants but really nice uh small and a really nice largey for uh you know not river fishing that spot for a really long time so i'm happy and i'm happy i got so many freaking smallmouth in top water that is the best way to catch smallmouth is top water um or not the best but the most fun it kind of goes for every species honestly but you get what I'm saying. River smallmouth on top water, seeing those explosions, no matter how big or small they are, is just so much fun and it is just so cool. But to end off, I'm gonna say thank you to Shop Carl for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna go check them out, link down below. You guys know the whole nine yards on that. Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna end off today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. And I'll catch you guys. <laughs> Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound Fucking my posts, this ain't now, I've been humble too long yeah.